good afternoon friends today we have come to adina mosque that is the famous mosque which is around 18 kilometers from malda now i will ask the people who are traveling towards siliguri it's just a few meters from the national highway as you can see that national highway just over there so you can add it to your itinerary so you can visit this particular place while going towards siliguri and it's on the left side on the siliguri side of nh34 so i have included in my itinerary this particular place and the canal ye jala mana so let's explore this place this particular mosque was built between 1364 and 1374 as mentioned by asi and it was built by the sultan sikandar shah who was the bengal sultanate of that time there is a history that why this particular mosque was built actually the bengal sultanate was becoming very powerful and they had already defeated the delhi sultanate twice so in order to establish this imperial ambitions of that particular ruler that sikandar shah he built this particular mosque and it is called that it is one of the largest mosque in this subcontinent now it's in ruins but uh, still it deserves a special mention in the asi list of heritage so i should definitely ask everybody who is going to north bengal to this visit this particular place so from here you can see how vast this particular mosque was and there lies it's totally in ruins actually so let me tell you about the history as i was telling that this particular sultanate was quite ambitious and they have already defeated the delhi sultanate twice so in order to show his imperial ambitions he decided to build a mosque and a very big mosque that is around uh, the size of a mosque that is in damascus and this particular mosque is built on the style and the architectural style of damascus mosque actually and that the kings grave is also inside this particular mosque i will show you so let's explore the mosque is called that this mosque was built with the materials used in the pre-islamic area there is lot of differences between the historians that uh, the mosque may have been built from the stones and artifacts of previous uh, hindu temples and as you can see there are some architectural similarities with those pre-islamic area yeah. so these are all controversial facts so i am not going to comment anything on that and this is the gate with which you have to enter to hotel wala hai ye ha so there is the graveyard and this part hmm, of sikandar shah and this particular grave is placed in such a way that 
it is faced towards the Mecca. This is inside the mosque. This is basically the stone's structure. Together with brick structure is also there. And there lies the first floor of this particular mosque. This uh, stair is closed now. I will try to find an another way. And the inside, today it's very very hot, but the inside is cool absolutely. Uh, in fact, uh, I visited this place in the year 1985 and at that time it was very shallowly maintained but ASI has done a good job and it has been restored to some, at least uh, it will stay for at least some time. And this particular, let me show you how this particular mosque was designed actually. Uh, what is typical about this mosque actually, inside the entire walls, the mosque is all in this particular square form and in the middle there was an empty courtyard. That is the unique design and this design was copied from that Dam famous Damascus mosque and it is called that the mosque survives till 19th century but uh, after the great earthquakes of 19th century this particular mosque structure gave way and it has been unusable also it is often said in history that uh, after the rulers of Bengal, at that time Pandua was the capital of Bengal. So the, all the imperial activities used to be happen here. There was brisk trading activities. <laughs> there was brisk trading activities also. So it was a prosperous township of that time. But due to some unknown reasons, the rulers of Bengal shifted their capital to Gaur. So after the capital was shifted to Gaur, Pandua also lost its importance. But still the mosque was in use. But after the 19th century earthquake, the entire mosque actually became unusable and it seemed but still ASI has done a good job I will tell you if I compare with my visit of uh, 1985 uh, when I ca came here I, I was in class 10 at that time so at least this is preserved and I feel that people will be able to see these ruins for another several years to come. Let us see the constructions. This vast architecture is associated with the hypo style of Umayyad mosque which was used during the introduction of Islam in new areas. The early Bengal Sultanate harbored several ambitions and as you can see there is structure on all four sides and in between is the courtyard and you will be mesmerized by the sheer vastness and magnitude of this particular mosque which is really wonderful. Whenever we talk about Muslim uh, historical architecture or importance, we think of Murshidabad only. But Malda has also a lot to offer. 
and malda is less publicized and there is much less hi- hype about the malda so i i will tell everybody to visit this historical places of malda that is once in pandua adina and the other one is gaur let's go to the first floor of of this mosque is a speciality of this mosque so this is the view from the first floor it is said that the mosque is around uh, 172 by 97 meters length and breadth in length it is around 172 meters this is engraved in urdu language the stone construction is still in intact actually the brick and lime structure has given away this is one of the dome like this there are several domes all total there were about 387 domes 92 arches and 260 number of pillars in this particular mosque these are the pillars
Adina Mosque was true masterpiece in terms of architectural grandeur as we see. Most of the mosque is now broken and what stands now is only a little bit. But still the remains and the ruins are enough to give a clear picture of what it was and such was the ambitions of the sultans of those times. If you come from Kolkata, this is the NH 34 as you can see. So you are coming from Malda. Once you come from Malda, you will find a boat clearly marked that Adina Pandua Road. Okay. And from this particular NH 34, the wall of the mosque is easily visible. So you can very easily park your car here and visit this place without any problem and i would definitely recommend to visit this mosque if you are going towards shiliguri and this particular road is taking you to shiliguri so it's on the shiliguri sites even if you come from the kolkata side so there is the crossing so you can just cross at this junction and find this mosque the mosque is seen from here in fact it is around 20 feet to 30 feet from this main road so we complete our visit of Adina mosque and we spend a nice time here and I would definitely ask everybody to visit this place and if you have liked this video please do subscribe our channel for more videos like this thank you very much and goodbye and this is Ashish Sharkar who has who has kind enough to take this particular trip successful and you can hear his personal mobile number so you can contact him to take you here mobile number seven nine seven four two three zero seven four so subscribe to the channel and share the video and like the video thank you very much and goodbye please subscribe